Hey, CG, I'm Grant Patterson. And I'm Izzy. And we have your announcement for Tuesday, January 24th, 2017. First up, be aware that students in study halls will be taking an important survey during their study hall period. It will take approximately 30 minutes, but it will provide crucial information to the guidance office. Please plan accordingly. Also, Creative Writing Club is canceled for today. Last week, Stugo hosted an event for students new to Center Grove. Miley Grounds and Jordan Jacomis have a video for you about this event. Last Friday, Stugo invited new students to a party in the West Gym to meet each other, play games, and get acquainted with CG. I think it really helps like new students um, either like meeting new people or um, just getting like accustomed to like what this school is and like what's different between their old schools and this. For sophomore Charlie Ogeta, this school is much bigger than his last school. This school is way bigger. We get longer periods and I like that because whenever we like work out and stuff, we have a longer lift. The block schedule can be a little hard to get used to. New student Zermek Burford found that as well. One thing was hard to get used to was definitely the period scheduling because at Noblesville it was two, four, six, eight, and then one, three, five, seven. And like today, someone asked me what period was I in. I honestly have no clue. The role of the hospitality committee is to make the transition easier for new students. Well, people already have made it easier. I mean, I mean, I was here since freshman year. And I basically just came back and saw old friends, and I had friends in every one of my classes, so it's a lot easier. Classes are a great way for students to get acquainted with students new to CG. Another way is to get involved in CG's clubs and sports. Argeta already has plans for becoming part of the CG community. Run track, play football, and do my best now. If you're new to CG, you may not know what snow coming is. This is a winter homecoming event. It is fun, <laughs> semi-formal dance. This year, it will be on February 11th from 7 to 10 p.m. in the West Gym. Now let's go to Nick with the weather for today. Thanks, guys. Today's weather is pretty uneventful. Right now, it's pretty chilly out at about 40 degrees, but today's high is going to be about 45 degrees at 4 p.m. Back to you. Thanks, Nick. Last weekend, one of the two F... TC robotics teams qualified to the state competition. Panic in the Build Room progressed to the winning alliance in addition to receiving the control award. The other team, Cyberstorm, was in a finalist alliance and finalist for Rockwell Collins. <laughs> Innovate Award Good Luck this Saturday when they compete in FTC tournament in Lafayette seeking to qualify for state. Last up today, we have a unique opportunity for students interested in sports. Unified Sports combines students with and without intellectual disabilities on the same team for sports training and competition. No experience is needed, and it will be a lot of fun. There will be a call-out meeting Thursday, January 26th, right after school in Miss Castleman's room, room 230, or stop by her room anytime with questions. That's all we have for you today, CG. Bye. Bye.